Over a thousand years ago, a great poet from the Tang Dynasty wrote, Old battles, waged by these long walls, once were proud on all men's tongues. But antiquity is now a yellow dust, confusing in the grasses its ruins and white bones. At Jin Shaling, north of Beijing, the Great Wall of China undulates over steep hills and mountains. Here, the stone and brick wall averages 25 feet in height and 15 feet in width. The Great Wall frustrated the guerrilla tactics of nomadic horsemen from the north for its first 500 years. In 1211, Genghis Khan's Mongol hordes broke through the wall to conquer China. His grandson, Kublai Khan, ruled over the largest land empire the world has ever known. Marco Polo's vivid accounts of the splendors of Cathay under the Khan's rule renewed Europe's eagerness to trade with China. Four centuries later, in 1644, the Great Wall was again breached when Manchu horsemen rode through an undefended gate near the coast. The Manchus founded the Qin Dynasty, destined to be China's last, which finally collapsed in 1911 due to a revolution which saw a short-lived attempt at democratic government. The Great Wall is an enduring symbol of China's defensive mentality. Often compared to a huge stone dragon or a twisting scaled serpent, the wall was built by a succession of powerful imperial dynasties. Meandering on its tortuous journey for almost 4,000 miles from the Eastern Ocean to the Western Desert, the Great Wall is easily the largest, most labor-intensive structure ever built by the hand of man. All along the length of the wall, sentries and beacon towers could signal danger by fire at night and smoke by day, a highly effective communication device for its time. Isolated on rocky ground between the snow-capped Chilean Mountains and the Matsong Mountains, the massive 14th century fortress called Jia Yuguan marks the western end of the Great Wall of China. To the Chinese, this western frontier symbolized oblivion, decline, and danger. On the dedication stone outside the gate, it was written, Looking westward, we see the long, long road. Only the brave cross the martial barrier. Who is not afraid of the vast desert? Should the scorching heat of heaven make him frightened? Through this fort's western gate, criminals and disgraced officials were banished to the forbidding wilderness of Central Asia. The fortress was a formidable reminder of the far-reaching power of the Ming Dynasty. The 35-foot high walls bristled with bowmen's turrets and pavilioned watchtowers. The outer ramparts once enclosed barracks, storehouses, a freshwater spring, and a temple to the god of war. Even in the remotest regions of the Taklamakan Desert, crumbling beacon towers give mute testimony to the empire's powerful reach. Built of rammed earth, the final surviving section of the Great Wall in this desert protected the Silk Road from bandits and drifting sand. At Jai Yuguan, beyond the last tower of the world's longest wall, modern factories produce cement, fertilizer, and iron from the raw materials mined from the surrounding mountains. Over the centuries, the Great Wall helped to keep the Chinese in physically and emotionally, while repelling invaders. This bulwark also defined the cultural frontier, reinforcing the time-honored belief that the world was clearly divided between a central, superior Chinese civilization and a peripheral barbarian outland. Little wonder that the Chinese called their world Zongguo, which means the Middle Kingdom,